come throughout the day. Uh, I was speaking with uh, Ivan here, he's the production manager. You said that you get between 85,000 and 100,000 liters of milk every single day? Yeah, every day. And where does that milk come from? Well, it comes from around the farms, maybe 50 miles from here, 100 kilometers from that maximum. So they're all local? Yeah, they are. And who selects which farms the milk is going to come from? Every farmer in Ontario, they got a board. They're the one that tells us which trucks are going to come down here. Right. Right. And it's whole milk? Yes, it is. Whole milk. Your, your milk, 100%. And every single one of the cheeses that you make starts with this milk here? Yep. Yeah. Every piece. Okay, so what's going on right now? I know the pumping has not started yet. And why is that? We're doing some tests here on the uh, antibiotic. Make sure that there's nothing in there. After we get the test done, we get the old okay from the guy. He's going to start to unload. It's going to take about maybe 15 minutes to unload about maybe 15 to 16,000 uh, liters of milk. And, and how much cheese can you make from 16,000 liters of milk? About 1,500 kilos. Really? Yeah. It's a whole lot of cheese. It is. So what does the bacteria test actually look like? It's a... Uh, is this little machine right here, right? Yeah, that's that machine right here. You just take some samples of milk, you put them in there for a certain time, mm -hmm. and it's going to tell you if there's some antibiotic in the milk. Right, and if there's any bacteria at all? We don't take the milk, we refuse it, we call the board, we send the milk away to be destroyed. How often does that happen? Rarely. Rarely. Because the farmers now are really careful with that. And right. I don't think it did happen the last year. Mm -hmm. So once you get the thumbs up from the milk, it starts pumping? Yep. And then what's the next step after that? It goes right into the silo. We got three silos of uh, 68,000 liters. We put it in there, and after that it goes through the pasteurizer. And it needs to be standardized. Then it goes through the milk bag. And this is the pasteurization room, right? It is. Why is it so loud? Oh, well, a lot of pumps. There's a separator there. Do you make cheese every single day? Yeah, seven days a week. Yeah. And so the cheese that people are getting when they're buying it from different stores, grocery stores uh, in, uh, in Ontario and Quebec, very fresh. Yeah, made from the day. Yeah. yeah. And if you come here to the store, you can actually buy cheese that has been made today. Oh, yeah. Curds are fresh every day, and the cheese uh, and the fresh cheese is the same thing. Right. We've and got to cut it tonight. That's right, and you're actually going to take me into the cutting room a little bit later in the, the show, yeah. right? Yes. Okay, now, St. Albert's itself has been around for over a hundred years. Yeah, 1894. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I did my homework. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you still maintain that same reputation for quality products for the last hundred years. Yeah, we do make sure with the milk, we get fresh milk. And from there, the uh, production has to be, well, everything has to be clean, sanitized. So this way you stay away from pro uh, problems and you get, you know, that nice flavor of cheese. Well, come on out. A little bit later in the show, we will uh, take you further into the factory here in uh, St. Albert, including uh, where the cheese curds are made and the cutting room. And, of course, the store where all the finished products are available for you to buy. That's all coming up on CTV Morning Live. And I want